Welcome everyone. Today, we're exploring the updated Mesh Healer plugin. The control window has different sections. First, there's the tolerance setting. It's like a dial for accuracy. By default Mesh Inspector calculates the best tolerance setting based on the model in order to save the details and repair the model fast. Low tolerance keeps more details but needs more computer power. You may set the exact tolerance in available range by double-clicking on the window. Want to save more details? Set a lower tolerance level to save more details, but note that it may take much more time, so use it cautiously taking into account computing powers, found issues and model volume. By pressing display deviation map you may activate color map to visualize differences before and after repair anytime. Next is the inspect and repair section. It identifies main issues of the model. You can choose each type of issue to inspect and repair by checking it or uncheck to ignore them. Want to change settings? Press a gear button on the right side, adjust the settings and press apply to save them. Mesh Healer highlights the number of identified issues with color. You can proceed further with the green ones and pay attention to those with the red ones. Mesh Healer identifies components and divides them into large and small ones, and tackles them in a different way. All large components are fixed using Boolean Unite feature to eliminate intersections while the small ones are being deleted aiming to achieve one large component. In case you want to preserve the small components, please, change the settings. Mesh Healer defines whether a model has holes and splits them into two categories, large and small. It highlights large ones with white and small with pink color. Please note that large holes can only be fixed with the fill holes feature. Large holes may be a model's feature as well as an issue. That's why Mesh Healer tool identifies them for you, but does not fix them. To repair them, please use fill holes feature. Self-intersections create irregularities in geometry, degeneracies happen when geometric elements are less defined, small tunnel faces can lead to printing issues. By selecting you can repair them in one click with Mesh Healer. Now, 3D printing issues. Inadequate wall thickness can cause problems like weakened structures. Undercuts can complicate the printing process. Mesh Healer helps identify these issues so you can address them using other Mesh Inspector tools. Lastly, there's an alternative way to repair your model in one click, with Auto Repair tool. It makes the mesh watertight and eliminates any identified inconsistencies by rebuilding the entire model. Keep in mind that the result depends on the tolerance settings. If you need to preserve more details go to Rebuild Model Settings and change the voxel size. Each model design and issues combination are unique. You can try both approaches or combine them. In case it does not work. You can roll back and try another way of fixing the model. So we recommend to be flexible and try different approaches in order to achieve the best result possible. If you have any questions, check our help section or reach out to our support team at support at meshinspector.com. See you in the next videos.